The odds for a no-deal Brexit at the end of 2020 have considerably increased to 45%. However, we still expect a last-minute compromise between the United Kingdom and the European Union, given the brutal political, social and economic consequences of a no-deal exit amid the second wave of the COVID-19 crisis. A no-deal Brexit could push the UK economic growth into strong negative territory as soon as the first quarter of 2021. If the UK does exit the European Union without a deal on the 1st of January 2021, it could see a 5% contraction in GDP and a 15% drop in exports, as it would be excluded from the European single market and half of its existing free trade agreements, the United Kingdom would see a strong rise in average tariff and non-tariff barriers, including supply chain disruption, administrative hurdles, and increased transportation costs, pushing import prices up by 15% on average, and inflation beyond 5% for at least six months. This could contribute to insolvencies rising by 53% in 2021. Given these harsh consequences, we do expect a technical extension of the transition period to allow a ratification of the free trade agreement with the European Union and its implementation by mid-2021. In our baseline scenario, we expect the UK economy to contract by 11.8% in 2020 before recovering to a meager growth of 2.5%. At the moment of the European exit, import prices are expected to rise by 6% on average due to a 3% depreciation of the sterling and the rise in overall import tariff and non-tariff barriers. This would increase inflation beyond 2% in the second half of 2021 while reducing corporate margins. In this context, business insolvencies would rise by 31% in 2021.